it's been a while. In fact, how long has it been since I filmed a video? It's been a month. It's actually been a month. Hi guys, it's Sarah and welcome back to another video. <laughs> I'm on play. Yay. I just kind of wanted to do like a little life update because I haven't filmed in a very long time and yeah <laughs> I haven't felt really motivated to but also like there's been so many things that have happened that yeah I just kind of wanted to talk to you oh my god I just realized the color of my hands and my arms to my face patchy patchy we're just gonna ignore that so yeah I just kind of wanted to jump on here and just do like a little bit of an update because I've been gone for a month and I am so sorry about that. But yeah, um, I've not really felt very motivated to film. And also, we're still in a lockdown. Things are starting to ease a little bit now. Like kids have gone back to school as of Monday, just gone. And yeah, I haven't been properly in work at all this year. But yeah, so it's all a little bit like, I don't know, like when you're in a lockdown, I feel like you get bored really easily. And also time just goes so fast. Like it's unreal how fast it goes. Like it's crazy. But yeah, I just wanted to do this life update. Um, I got made redundant. <laughs> so that is one of the reasons why I've not been in work, but also because it's a non-essential shop. So non-essential shops are still not open like we went into lockdown i think it was i think we went into tier four the day before new year's eve and that meant that all non-essential shops had to shut anyway and then i know this was manchester anyway because there was different Sorry, I'm sat on something. There was different tiers for different cities, which was a bit ridiculous. I've got the curtains right there, balancing to like say. So. Anyway, back to what I was saying. Um, I get distracted so easily. So, yeah, we went into tier four, Manchester did. And that meant all non-essential shops had to shut. And now I can actually say where I work. So I worked for Arcadia. So like Topshop, Topman, Dorothy Perkins, Burton's. Miss Selfridges etc and they were already in a lot of trouble they were we were already in administration which is where the obviously Philip Green isn't owning the company anymore and then so they went into we went into administration which meant the administrators were trying to get somewhere to buy the company or the shops like the shops could get sold separately if they got a good offer for it basically so when we went into this tier four i thought i am not coming back to work like literally i'm not going to be coming back it's either going to shut down or i don't know and yeah so i think i already started applying for new jobs just to be on the safe side when we went into lockdown well tier four then we went into lockdown i think it was new year i can't remember the exact dates because i'm not very good at dates then we went into lockdown and I was like, there's no date to say when we're coming out of lockdown. So like the last lockdown, we had said, they said, actually said like, how many times did I just say, they said, they said, they said, they actually said like the date that we was expecting to come out of lockdown. So we knew then when we'd be back in work and stuff, we didn't have an end date. So I was like, there is no chance I will be going back to the same job that i mean, now it would be a miracle if that happened and then on the news and everything like top shop top man miss south just got sold to asos i worked at dorothy perkins and burton's it was like a conjoined site and i could work on either side um and i was like well if asos has bought them they've gone online completely the shops are shutting down no chance am i 100 percent coming back to work and then a few weeks later, Top Man, not Top Man, they've already been sold. 
Burton's Dorothy Perkins and it's either Evans or Wallace, I can't remember. Anyway, they got sold to Boohoo, online only, so all the shops are shut. I just knew something like that was going to happen. So that meant I was getting made redundant. Yay! So that's happened. And then we went into work for, I think I went in for four days um, to help shut the shop, get everything loaded onto the van. It was very, very, very emotional because I've been there for five years and I've made some really, really good friends. But yeah, so that's that kind of happened. <laughs> So as you can tell, as you can probably tell by that, I have been jobs to, like job hunting like crazy. I just yeah, I've just been job hunting like crazy. I think that also took a lot of my time up, and I was getting like phone calls for interviews and stuff like that. Um, I have found a new job. I have been offered a new job. I don't start until next Thursday because it's going up before Thursday. Um, so. Yeah, I don't start till next Thursday, which is absolutely amazing. Like, I actually can't wait. Um, and this is an essential shop, so that's also a good thing. Um, but yeah, life's been a bit crazy. <laughs> um, but the good thing is we are starting to lift restrictions. So hopefully, like, fingers crossed, we don't go back into another lockdown. Um, all like vaccines are getting given out. I think I'm due May for mine. I'm like the last category because I, my age falls under that. I can't wait to get the vaccine, but I am terrified of getting the vaccine. <laughs> Basically, I'm not good with needles. Um, I'm not good with anything really. I'm I'm that girl that just like throws up at anything. So I'm gonna put this into a big perspective here of how squeamish I actually am. <laughs> My sister got her braces put on. My sister, she was the one getting the braces put on, right? Not me. I watched. I'm the one that threw up. That is how bad I am. Why has he just pulled up in the middle of the road? Who is that? Oh, poo. Neighbour. Don't look up, don't look up, don't look up. She's not looking up. So I'm the one that threw up. I was that girl in school who threw up every time they had a needle or nearly fainted that is me so I'm not scared about getting the needle done I'm scared about the after effects because it's never ever when I have it done when I'm waiting I'm completely fine getting it done it's that bit where you have to sit and wait to make sure you don't have any reactions to the needle I'd rather just go straight home but no I have to sit there and wait and that's the that's the terrifying bit for me but I can't wait to get the needle because that means um, some form of normality is actually going to happen eventually. Like, it's getting that way. Look, curtain. <laughs> uh, knock it just the slightest bit and it starts moving. It. So, it's starting to look good for things. I can't wait to get back to like gigs and stuff and see my friends and family. And it just it's just crazy how it's nearly been a year since the whole of this pandemic has actually happened. But yeah. So that's my little life update. Um hopefully I'll get back to doing videos soon. Um now I can kind of figure out what is going on. I start a job soon, which is really, really exciting. Um, so I can't wait for that. But yeah. So that is my exciting life update because you guys were really excited to hear all that. But yeah, <laughs> that is what has been happening. I've not really been doing much. I just feel like I've not really been motivated. I'm not going to lie. Because it just gets boring just sat there in your house day in, day out. I started going for walks, which is not like me at all. I didn't go for one today because the wind is absolutely crazy and I just know I'll get blown over. Small people props. And... I didn't go yesterday because it was raining. But yeah, I have actually been going for walks. That's how bored I've been getting. <laughs> and yeah, that's my little life update. Um, hopefully I'll be filming some more videos for you guys. And hopefully we can get back to normality and I can start filming vlogs again because that is like my favorite type of video to film. But yeah. Anyways. That will be the end of my video. It might be a bit boring for you guys, but I mean, just thought I'd explain myself, give you a little update. 
and yeah I hope everybody is okay they're all like all of you staying safe and there is going to be a light at the end of this tunnel I we can actually see it happening so that's one of the good things but yeah stay safe guys continue to follow your government guidelines and yeah I will see you in another video bye